What's up guys, I'm Dan. Welcome back to another episode of Poor Michigan Reviews. We're dealing with more hazy IPAs, guys. What else is new? It's gonna be coming from Front Porch Brewing. I have never heard of these guys, so I thought I'd give this a shot. I was browsing around uh, the beverage company in Traverse City, so I thought I would try this one because I've never seen it. Simply never heard of it or seen it, guys. 6.6% uh, ABV coming in with Citra, Mosaic, Simcoe, and Strata hops. Uh, kind of the generic lineup. We see Citra, Mosaic, and Simcoe a lot, and Strata a lot in New England style. IPAs, but it just says IPA brewed with those hops, guys. We have, uh, let's see, I think I said it, Reverse Mermaid. If I haven't said the name, it's Reverse Mermaid. Kind of a cool label. Coming in around $5 for this one can. Pretty standard these days for a New England style or sour. Um, just kind of ballpark what it's going to be, guys. That's where the market is right now. Um, on the side, seeing if I missed anything else. Brewed and packaged by 12%. North Haven, Connecticut for Front Porch Brewing. So that's an interesting little bit of information. And this was canned on 6 9 Love to see the canned on date. Today's July 28th, so pretty fresh still, guys. Less than two months. I like that coming from the East Coast. So that's enough talking. Let's dive in. I opened that pretty easily, didn't I? Uh, let's dive in, guys, see what we have today. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm off of work early today, but hey, I worked like nine hours, so I've put in my dues for the day. As we pour, kind of that standard looking New England style, obviously coming from Connecticut, we expect this. Um, yeah, it, it's it's not the haziest hazy I've ever seen, but it's certainly quite thick and um, dense when I poured it with a big, pretty compacted head here, guys. Very bright white, stick into the glass. Actually, one of the most sticky heads I've seen as of late, but it is sliding down the glass a little bit. Golden peachy, pineapple looking hazy guys it's kind of what you see in all the hazies that's what we're looking for that's what we get i see some mild carbonation streaming to the top nothing too insane let's go to an aroma boy she smells nice that's citrus that's tropical that's stone fruity grapefruity maybe like creamy creamy tangerine almost like ice cream sherbet kind of juiciness on the front too a little bit of piney, candied honey. She smells pretty good. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I've smelled this beer like a thousand times in my life. And it. I usually, I typically like hazies that smell this way. 6.6%, I love that range for ABV for a New England style. Right where I like it in the sweet spot, guys. I call it the sweet spot. Between six and 7% for a hazy, that's the sweet spot for me. Um, we're diving in. It's Reverse Mermaid, cheers. Wow. It felt like it was gonna be more complex than what it was and what it is. Um, medium mouthfeel, kind of where you get more hazies. I'd say it even leans towards a little bit lighter medium. Um, medium, medium, if you will. Quite drinkable, almost borderline crisp for uh, a Nipa, guys. It's, it's drinking very nicely, going down very smoothly. I wouldn't say it's like a creamy mouthfeel, but it's, 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 um, it's soft, it's subtle, it goes down very nicely. I get like pineapple acidity coming off the back end, a little bit of uh, bitterness. Um, there's a little like chivey herbalness in this. I wouldn't say it's like overly dank or herbaceous. I think it's just short of that. It's got this nice balanced piney um, chivey thing on the back end with um, solid bitterness. I wouldn't say it's like overwhelming or anything. It's it's very smooth, um, very well done. I, I'd say the balance is, is very good. You get a little bit of sweetness like um, sherbet, grapefruity, tangerine on the front. And then it goes into like some stone fruity genericness. And then I do think you get some like pineapple acidity on the back end, kind of all paired together with a honey, uh, piney, chivey bitterness on the back end, guys. It's kind of just a very nicely uh, rotated beer, front to back, as in it's not too sweet, it's not too pungent, and it's not too astringent on the back end, or it's not too bitterness either. So it's just kind of well, um, has nice diversity from the front to back, but it's not overly exuberant, if you will. There's not uh, so many hops screaming at you. It's not like a, uh, an Arvon 
uh, New England style, just hot punching you green, um, just slapping you around. It is a little bit smoother and, and dulled down, if you will, in a good way. So it's 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 good. It's just very good. But I do find it a little dull, like front to middle. I, I, I was hoping for a little bit more complexities. I was hoping for just another layer to kind of, you know, go down the, the an, another avenue of, oh, I'm getting like, you know, peach or like some um, uh, a grapefruit skin or um, just some sort of other uh, factor that kind of comes in. And it doesn't. It kind of just stays more to the generic path all the way through. But it does have these nice qualities. Um, and it does still let you know it's a beer with some subtle bitterness on the back end. Although it's being a New England style, guys. I, I do like it. I don't think it's the greatest thing I've ever had from the East Coast. Because they do so many of these beers and they do them really well. Um, but this is a nice um, New England style beer, guys. It's just middle of the road for me. A little more grapefruit, a little more pine, a little more bitterness as I drink it. Grapefruity, sherbet thing just for a moment, and then it just goes generic, boom. It kind of loses it. Um, it's good, it's really well balanced. Three, three, eight, seven out of five, guys. It's it's good, again, if this was like years ago, I'd be like, yeah, man, 4.2, 4.3. 4.4, if it was like 2016, 17, I'd be amazed. We live in 2022. The dime a dozen now, guys, unless you have some just crazy complexities and layers that are just coupled with the beer. It's middle of the road for me. So, hey, still a good beer. First offering I've gotten from Front Porch. Um, I, I enjoy it. I try more other stuff. It is what it is, guys. Thanks for being here. I'm Dan. I'm over and out. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.